This is part three of our guided video series on extracting nighttime light statistics. Uh, in the previous script, we learned how to uh, compute the statistics of a given region from the nighttime lights image. So we have, uh, we ran the reduced region function on the NTL image and computed the total sum of lights. Now we want to know what is the contribution of different land covers towards, we already have our MODIS land cover connection. So let's take this and we'll extract the image for the year that we're interested in. So we apply the filter on the MODIS data set for the same date range as the nighttime lights image, select the LC type one classification. And now we have a land cover image for 2020. To, before we go further, let's look at the documentation for the MODIS land cover data set. We are using the LC type one band, which is the IGBP classification. And this is the class table. So we are interested in finding the nighttime lights for urban regions. So looking at this table, you can see the class 13 uh, contains the urban pixels. So first let's extract those. So create a variable called urban and we'll say land cover image dot eq 30. That means select all pixels where the value is equal to 30. This creates a binary image where whichever pixel match this condition will be one all the other will be zero. And that's perfect because this can be then used as a mask and all the pixels where there's one will be retained, everything else will be uh, masked out. So that's our urban image. Uh, we can also rename the band just so that it helps us uh, identify that uh, this is an urban band. We'll just rename it as urban. Okay. Next, we want to get the agriculture image. So we'll find all pixels which are agriculture. Back to the table here, uh, we can see there are many different classes that can be considered as agriculture. For the purpose of this analysis, we'll consider class 12, 14, and 10 as belonging to agriculture. Again, depending on application and requirement, you can choose the appropriate classes. So we'll say land cover image dot equal to 10 or 12 or 14. And the way you write this code is you say, select this pixel, and say or 12 or 14, right? So this will select pixels belonging to either of those classes and will create a binary image where if this pixel met any of this condition, it will be one, otherwise it will be zero. Okay. Now that we have identified the urban and agriculture pixels, let's compute the stats in each of those classes. We're gonna take this code that we did for the, overall statistics, this computes the stats for the entire image. We're going to now take this image and say, we don't want the stats of all the pixels, but only those where the urban values is one. So we'll use the update mask function and say, use only those. This will set all the urban pixels to be one, but the value, <clears throat> This will set all pixels where urban values is one to be valid as and all other ones as no data. And it will be computing the stats only where the urban value is one. So we'll just name this as urban stats. And let's just get the variable names updated. We'll just name it urban so on. So this was the sum of light for all the pixels. This is the sum of lights only for the pixels which were marked as urban. We can do the whole thing uh, for agriculture pixels. So we'll update the mask to be for only agriculture. And now we have the stats of only the pixels belonging to agriculture. And again, the overall idea for this project is that uh, most of the lights are emitted by the urban pixels. The agriculture pixels typically do not emit a lot of light. And you can see this here in the state, uh, most of the nighttime lights are emitted by regions which are marked as urban, right? So this is what the stats also show here. We come to the end of our script three. Uh, the finished script is in the script three B, where you can look at it along with the comments explaining the code uh, step by step. We did this for one year. Remember, we set our year to be 2020, so we were able to compute the stats for one year. In the next script, we'll see how to do this for multiple years. So, see you in the next video.